This is how the Zenith sounded without touching anything. Volume control works. Tone control works. Tuning works. I'm going to tune into WBZ here in Boston. Now, <clears throat> you can hear that heavy hum in the background. That's generally assigned the filter capacitor condenser, which is right here, has gone bad. This radio uses a multi-can capacitor with three different values, 80, 60, and 40 microfarads at 150 volts. Now, to test to see how it is, I have a multi-can capacitor, which has four capacitors in it with a shared ground, to test it. Um, I use this instead of a regular capacitor, long leads, and, you know, it's just easier. So, on this radio, the chassis is ground. Um, the, they use the chassis as the ground, and I'm running it through my uh, isolation transformer, so it's safe to touch. Um, so we can just put this in. We can... We can put the black ground anywhere we want on the chassis. And then we find the correct pin for the 80 microfarad cap inside. You hear some more, we get some more volume out of it. And that hum starts to go away. Now we're just getting another hum from probably the other condenser and from a bad connection from this, but then you always want to short it out so you don't store any power. Yeah, and I had this earlier up on the bench and I tested, um, I have a couple other, uh, multi-can caps that I used. Uh, I used two of them and a bunch of test leads um, to go from ground to each pin, um, 80, 60, and 40. And hum was all, all but eliminated, and um, aside from normal AM hum, and also um, volume, and thus from that, voltage was increased across all. Points. So we can basically determine that the filter capacitor is bad.